What's up guys and welcome to a new video. Today I'm fishing solo out here at Fort DeSoto, Florida and it is just an amazing day. I've already seen dolphins and mullet and a couple little sharks. It's just gonna be a great day. I can just tell already. So my dad's tied up, my wife is tied up, so I'm out here solo. We're gonna see if we can make it happen. Regardless, I just love being outdoors, being on the water, seeing the wildlife. We're about to push pole up into some no motor zones. See if we can get on some fish. Let's go. All right, guys, we are trying to sneak up on this mangrove line. Seen a lot of mullet blowing up over here. It's really shallow right now. It's probably about anywhere from like eight to 16 inches. Pretty shallow. That's no problem for the GNU. But we'll have to see if it's holding any fish right now. Regardless, we're just out here to have a good time and just enjoy. See, see a ton of mullet right there. You guys probably can't see them on the GoPro. There's a ton of them right there. So usually when there's mullet, there's redfish and snook. So we will start tossing some lures here in a minute and see what we can get on. All right, guys, just for those of you curious out there, I am throwing the three inch NLBN paddle tail. It's like a green back color. Looks a lot like the bait that's out here right now. Little pilchards and green backs. So let's toss it and see what we can find. Uh, I already saw a couple snook. Um, so yeah, we'll uh, start tossing and see what we can get on. All right, guys, there we go. Not the targeted species today, but I just saw a school of Jack come in here. Jack fights so hard. This guy's probably maybe a pound or two, but man, they absolutely destroy lures. There's some, looks like some snook right there too. Jack are just so fun. They're like a, one of the species that uh, nothing else is biting. If you can find a school of Jack, just so much fun. Jack Creval. I wish I would've got the blow up. I was filming on my drone just now, and then all of a sudden I saw these school of Jack just blowing up the top over here, just destroying mullet, and boom. Threw a lure over there, like second cast, hooked up. Pretty cool. Take that. Like I said, they, he's not a huge one. They get really big. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and unhook him. And I'm gonna go ahead and unhook him and then try to see if there's any more out there. Go ahead and hook another one. So there he is, little Jack Revol. Yeah, he's about a pound, pound and a half maybe. They're like rockets though. One of the hardest fighting fish out here. Send them back. Let's see if we can get on another one. Tell you what, they are not, definitely not the targeted species today, but anytime I have a chance to catch Jack or Vol, cause they get massive, they get like 30, 40 pounds and then they will put on a heck of a show. But even the smaller ones, they fight, I mean, like a two pound jack fights, like a 10 pound snook. Just raw power, you know? So let's see if I can see them blowing up again. I think that's them right there. I could be wrong. Let's see. Yeah, they're right there. All right, let's see if we can get another one. Let's go, I see them right there. Let's get my lure right in front of their face. There's one. <laughs> oh my God. They are just so much fun. Oh my God. 
What's so funny about these guys is they're always in schools, almost always, and there's, there's gotta be dozens of them right now. This guy's about the same size. But man, they just fight so hard, so hard. And I'm actually, I'm rigged up for like, you know, snook and redfish today. So I could definitely even fight a bigger one if we had the chance. <laughs> so it's just a ton of these guys out there. Let's get it back out there. They are just blowing up right now. What's cool is to hit them, to see them hit top water. I can just skip this paddle bait right across the top. And if they're there, man, they will. Oh, they're on it. They're on it. They're on it. Come on. When do you got to get it? When do you got to get it? Oh my God, they all missed it. I cannot believe that. They were right on it. There he is. <laughs> oh, that might be a bigger one. I'm actually recording. He's not done. He's got a lot of energy in him. Whew. They're actually a really pretty fish too. Some people actually eat them. I have never. Probably never will. They don't, just don't really entice me. I know they're very oily fish. Sharks love them. A lot of people use them for shark bait. Part of the, the jack family, obviously. Uh, like amberjack. GT. These are like our American small GT. They do get much, much bigger though. Never a bad idea to have some hand sanitizer on the boat. So... Yeah, just caught, I don't know, three or four, a little jack of all, pound, pound and a half or so. Just super fun little fish. Like I said, they get much bigger. Um, that's just what was out here today. And uh, right now I'm gonna sit down, enjoy the peace and quiet. Just over on the other side of the mangroves is <laughs> chaos. Just jet skis and speed boats and just you know this it's nice to get away this is what i love about a gnu is i can go out there it might be rough but uh i can come out here and just enjoy myself kind of all alone there was a paddle boarder that came up um you know he fished with me for a few minutes he moved on and now i'm just just chilling in the shade on the mangroves so about to eat my tuna sandwich and a big old orange thanks to my wife and then uh, we'll get back to it. Show you guys some drone footage in the meantime. Mm -hmm. 